Yeah, I think uh, if we talk about semiconductor AI related stocks, uh, it doesn't matter which candidates elected. Uh, but looking at different parties who elected and which sector will be more benefit. Uh, for DPP, I believe two sectors will be benefit. One is renewable uh, energy related stocks like wind farm and solar related uh, fabrication or undersea uh, engineering those companies. Uh. And I think uh, another sector uh, I think will be benefit is the military and defense. Because if you look at the DPP William Tsai's uh, cross China relationship policy, uh, four pillars are uh, uh, plans to, to the peace. And I think military and defense are uh, uh, one of the policies called the uh, enhancing deterrence. Uh. So I believe localized those military uh, like the aerospace warship makers uh, uh, will be benefited by this. Yeah. What is the outlook for Taiwan's top companies? I mean TSMC, we're talking Han Hai, uh, when it comes to the ongoing tensions between China and the United States. Yeah, uh, I do believe the escalation uh, between U.S. and China, especially like the chip wars, uh, will become higher and higher and that will dampen the growth for the global semiconductor definitely and to Taiwan uh, companies as well it would be a risk uh. so for TSMC maybe TSMC have 90% high-end chips so with that part the demand can replace outside the China's orders uh. so I think TSMC maybe can mitigate a little bit the headwinds of the chip wars and the uh, Honghai or the other technology companies, uh, they have been trying quite hard doing the China plus one. What does it mean? It means that they diversify the factories, uh, concentrate in China, so like in India, ASEAN. So I hope also can mitigate some headwinds. So I, I, I need to speak about the Taiwan technology companies. Uh, uh, one word to describe Taiwan's supply chain for technology is resilience. Uh, because those suppliers are uh, the kind of collaboration and also partnership building up the ecosystem, uh, trying to uh, concrete all the difficult circumstances. Uh, so hopefully uh, uh, we, we, we will see some uh, resilience for those uh, technology companies. Before yeah. we let you go, what is the biggest risk for Taiwan companies? <clears throat> uh, I think maybe I talk about three. First, our biggest risk uh, I think biggest risk definitely is talking about the uh, interest rate, inflation, because technology companies still uh, affected by the interest rate globally. So I think this is one of the largest risks. Second, I think the China financial stability. Uh, we focus on the credit risk, property price, because we're still connected with China quite strongly. Yeah.